हेलो फ्रेंड्स द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज 80386 एड्रेस ट्रांसलेशन ओवरव्यू इन दिस वीडियो विल टेक ओवरव्यू ऑफ लॉजिकल टू फिजिकल एड्रेस ट्रांसलेशन इन 80386 द डिटेल्स ऑफ सेगमेंट ट्रांसलेशन एंड पेज ट्रांसलेशन विल बी कवर्ड इन सेपरेट वीडियोस लेट अस स्टार्ट द वीडियो विद इंट्रोडक्शन द फिजिकल एड्रेस स्पेस ऑफ मोस्ट कंप्यूटर्स इज ऑर्गेनाइज्ड एज अ सिंपल अरे ऑफ बाइट्स with the development of memory management units computer architectures began to distinguish between physical address space implemented by the memory hardware and the logical address space seen by the programmer the memory management unit translates the logical addresses presented by programs into physical addresses that go out on the bus most architectures view a task logical address space as consisting of a collection of one of the following bytes, segments, pages and page segments. Let us see bytes. The logical address space consists of an array of bytes with no other structure. This is sometimes called a flat or linear address space. No memory management unit translation is required because a logical address is exactly equivalent to a physical address. Then let us go to the segments. The logical address space consists of a few or many segments, each of which is composed of a variable number of bytes. A logical address is given in two parts, a segment number and an offset into the segment. The memory management unit translates a logical address into a physical address. Then let us go to pages. The logical address space consists of many pages each of which is composed of a fixed number of bytes a logical address is a page number plus an offset within the page the memory management unit translates a logical address into a physical address then let us go to page segments the logical address space consists of segments which themselves consists of pages a logical address is a segment number and an offset the memory management unit translates the logical address into a page number and an offset and then translates this into a physical address. Each of these views matches some classes of system well and others less well. For example, the flat view is appropriate for simple embedded system while system that separately manage and protect individual program structures fit better with the segmented view of memory. Technically, the 80386 views memory as a collection of segments that are optionally paged. In practice, the 80386 architecture supports operating system that use any of the four views of the memory described above. Then let us go to the addressing modes. The 80386 provides register and immediate addressing modes for operands that are located in registers or in instructions respectively. More importantly, the 80386 provides addressing modes needed to efficiently refer to elements in memory based data structure such as arrays, records, array of records and records containing arrays. A program specifies the offset part of the logical address using one of the 80386 memory addressing modes. The 80386 computes the offset part of the logical address by the following formula. Offset is equal to base plus index multiplied by scale plus displacement. Any or all of the base, index and displacement variables can be used to compute an offset. The base and index variables are the values of general registers while the displacement value is contained in the instruction. Any general register can serve as a base or index register. The value in the index register can be scaled that is multiplied by 1, 2, 4 or 8 providing a direct way to refer to an array or a record of elements of these lengths. A displacement value can be 8 or 32 bit long and is interpreted by the processor as a sign to its complement value. The most meaningful combination of base, index and displacement yield the following 80386 memory addressing modes. Direct that is 
displacement only then register indirect base only paste base plus displacement then indexed index scaled and index with displacement index scaled plus displacement then base index base plus index scaled and last base index with displacement base plus index plus displacement then let us take the address translation over figure shows the fundamental of 8036 logical to physical address translation the sequence of operation shown in the figure is central to both addressing and protection here you can see the first block is logical address logical address consists of the 16 bit segment selector for its segment and a 32 bit offset into the segment a selector is an index into a segment descriptor table that is it is a segment number each entry in the segment descriptor table contains the base address of a segment the processor adds the offset to the segment base address to produce a 32 bit linear address this is called segment translation if paging is disabled the processor considers the linear address to be physical address and emits it on the address page if paging is enabled the 80386 translates the linear address into a physical address using page translation. This is done with the aid of page tables. Now let us discuss this in details. The 80386 memory addressing modes yield the 32 bit offset of the target operand. Combined with a segment selector, this offset forms a two part logical address. The selector identifies the target segment and the offset locates the operand in the segment. In a vast majority of instructions, the selector is specified implicitly as the content of a segment register. A selector is an index into a segment descriptor table that is, it is a segment number. Each entry in a segment descriptor table contains the base address of a segment. The processor adds the offset to the segment's base address to produce a 32 bit linear address. If paging is not enabled, that is disabled, the processor considers the linear address to be the physical address and emits it on the address pins. If paging is enabled, the 80386 translates the linear address into a physical address using page translation. This is done with the aid of page table. A page table is conceptually similar to descriptor table except that each page table entry contains the physical base address of 4 kilobytes page. Because it embraces both traditional address space structuring units that is segments and pages and because segments are very large that is up to 4 gigabytes the 80386 addressing technique is very flexible. An operating system can provide a task with a single flat address space. A flat address space that is paged, a segmented address space or segmented address space that is paged. With all its flexibility, the 80386 multi-stage address translation facility is nevertheless quite fast. 80386 typically computes an offset and translates the resulting logical address to physical address in 1.5 blocks. Moreover, address translation time is not visible to the application because 80386 on chip memory management unit translates the address in parallel with other processor active. So, with this, we come to the end of this video that is the overview of address translation in 80. If you like the video, press the like button, share with your friends and subscribe to our channel engineering and technology for you and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notifications for our future videos on this topic then thanks for watching have a nice day